In this review, we're going to be taking a look at the silicone flexible roll-up piano. Please make sure you're subscribed, you've got the notification bell on, you comment below, and you're also following me on Instagram. Once we have hit 100 likes on this video, I'm going to be looking at all of the commenters who are subscribed and following me on Instagram and choosing a winner. So this is the box that it came in. Why don't we open it up and see what's inside? We have a user manual here. This is a 61 key flexible roll up piano. We've got the instructions on how to use all of the controls here. So we'll keep this handy while we get this set up. Okay, so upon initial rollout here, this looks pretty interesting. We've actually got quite a bit of texture. So the black keys do come up a little bit higher than the white keys. This feels a lot like the foldable keyboard that we reviewed previously. The black keys are pretty flat in the sense that they're not much higher than the white keys, but at least we do get a little bit of height above. Now it does grip fairly well on this countertop, so in terms of stability, it feels not too bad. The keys do flex back and forth and side to side a little bit. So we'll see how that affects the playability. Okay, so let's plug it in. So we're all plugged in here. I'm going to hit the power button. Okay. Oh, cool. So we have the full 61 keys here. Let's make sure they all work. All the keys do function properly. So if I play two at a time, it seems to work okay. If I add three, that seems to work fine. Four works fine. It's a little bit glitchy when we add more keys at the same time. Yeah, it's having a little trouble playing them all. That is one of the first issues we see is you can't just play as many keys as you would like. <laughs> I'm just holding them all down and they're all kind of doing their own thing. Uh, 
All right, so maybe not ideal for playing pieces by Rachmaninoff <laughs> with big, rich, full chords. Uh, it seems to be... So the sensors are... Okay, so they're throughout the whole key. But I found when I was playing larger chords that it felt better in this area. Besides, we should, as pianists, be playing in this zone here most of the time. Okay, so let's see, what else do we want to try here? How about repetition? That's not too bad at all, actually. Okay, if I try to play something simple. Sometimes there's a little bit of a repetition happening here. that yeah so there's a little bit of repetitions happening it's a little bit glitchy but for the most part uh, it works oops definitely don't want to play in between keys Now the rubber keys do seem pretty fun to play just because there's a little bit more grip. The only thing is when playing on one end of the key, the key doesn't feel solid like you're pressing a lever. So when you press a lever, the whole thing stays as one solid unit. This one, only the part that you press down ends up shifting and that kind of throws the playing off a little bit. It just feels very mushy. For a beginner, the middle part of the keyboard is here, so technically this would have to be middle C. Other than the glitchiness of re repeating sounds, it seems to work pretty good. See, I'm trying to play in this middle area here. Ugh. But the keys are so grippy that you catch the corners of these black keys. The black keys are fairly wide too. generally good for maybe the two finger piano the ones that we do in the tutorials on the piano hooks youtube channel for example if we were to just do mary had a little lamb two fingers
That kind of playing, I think, is perfect for this keyboard. You don't get any, well, or as much of the repeated glitchy tones that we were getting earlier, especially when we're playing more keys at the same time. And it just feels kind of cool to play these squishy keys. <laughs> See, I'm just holding them down and they're playing random ones. So more than two keys at a time, probably not ideal for this keyboard. But overall, it's got a really cool feel to it. The fact that you can roll it up and play modern music while you're rolling it up is pretty neat. I don't think you can really break it. pressing it pretty hard and it seems to be very durable so that's kind of cool yeah it is flexible it must have some sort of sensors in here that are in sections so you can kind of roll it up and not wreck it Cool. So this is hand roll piano. There's many versions of this online and I'll provide some links below uh, some of my own affiliate links so you can purchase those uh, using the links and also support me making these review videos. And again, I will be giving these keyboards out because I really have no use for them. So I would like you folks to be able to have something to start your journey in music. So now let's take a look at the different features that we have here. We're at 127. Okay, so now we're dealing with the different sounds. So that's 120, 127, 126, 24, We have bird sounds at 123. Some ocean sounds at 122. For some reason it keeps on showing 120, even though we're, we are on 121 here. Now we're on 120. If I go back up to 127 and to zero, then we end up having a regular piano sound. One, it's a little more tinny. Two, even more so. Three is a honky tonk, kind of out of tune piano. Okay, so we have 127 different sounds. Put it back to, back to zero. That's the closest to a regular piano. So what we'll do is we'll go through this manual and double check what everything is. So we have 128 kinds of tone, 128 kinds of rhythms and 45 demo songs. We've got the digital display, master volume key here, which goes up to 16. And if we bring that down to one, nice and quiet. So if you're in your bedroom and everyone else is sleeping, you wanna practice quietly without headphones, then that's actually nice and Gentle. 
Now continuing on, we have sustain and vibrato function. So you don't need your pedal to be able to do the sustain feature. MIDI out, so this can be used as a MIDI keyboard. So we have our MIDI output here. You can plug that into your uh, computer and be able to maybe print out some sheet music. This OK on is where we had that teaching key. Have to mess around with that again. Okay, we have a power saving function, so it'll power off automatically once no operation for three minutes. There's a built in battery, so if I unplug this, oh, we're dead. Okay, not sure how that goes. I guess you have to actually put some batteries in. That makes sense, okay. Four AAA batteries needed for that. We've got all of our program features here. So the one that I'm really interested in is this OK on button. That's a really neat one for learning to play along with the proper rhythm. So we're going to find that one and see what that one is all about. Okay, teaching. Ocon. Pressing Ocon will make it enter into teaching mode. Then press white key to select different songs and after playing song, whichever key user press, it will be the main melody. If the main melody has not run up to the next section, the background sound will repeatedly play this section until the song is over. So that I find is quite a powerful teaching tool because Now the problem here is trying to know what the melodies are. Because without knowing the melody, it's hard to really play along with it. So it'd be great if the student could hear that melody first and then be able to play along. See, I found a tune that I know. Oh, okay. So they 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 have their own twist on some of these melodies, so it kind of changes it a little bit. So it might take a few runs to figure out exactly their melody before trying to figure it out on the keys here. So that's a very cool tool, the OK on or OCON, whatever the heck that means. Um, you've got all of the sounds here listed out, the different tones and the numbers, all of the different rhythms as well. Here are all the demo songs that go with it. So for example, D43, Love Me Tender. Okay, so we hit the demo. We're at 
37, Song of the Seashore. Okay, so that's enough of that. You've got all of these demo songs that you can play along with, and that is a cool feature to be able to play along with the demo song, because that definitely improves musicianship. All right, so we've talked about the demo button. We've talked about the OK on this OOP. Let's see, what is this OOP button? OOP, all right. Pressing OOP will make it enter into OOP mode and the default speed is 120. Can record the drum sound pressed and under OOP mode, it can record drum sound or drum. Piano key will automatically switch into keyboard drum. The most record is 32 and once it is full, it can, it will, cannot, okay, so the English is a little bit off here it will not continue to record next drum sound. You can press play at any moment to play drum sound recorded. Okay, let's see here. Uh, if I were to, it's either on or off. Oops, how would we change that? Did it record anything? No. Every time pressing OOP will delete the memory last time and again enter into OOP mode. Okay, so it's off. We press it. We record. Okay, that, is that really what I played? Let's try that again. Um, I don't know, OOP off. Okay, let's try recording here. Okay, we'll play that. Hmm, okay. Looks like it might have glitched a little bit there. And what else do we have here? That OOP button is still bothering me. Pressing OOP will make it enter into OOP mode and the default speed is 120. I might have to do a little bit more research into what this OOP button is and add that in the description later. But that one is making me a little perplexed here. Program. P PR9, whatever that is. So if I go record, it goes back to piano. Hmm. It's doing all these weird sounds. Okay. Moving on. Insert. What can we do with the insert? Insert button has function only under rhythm mode. So we hit the rhythm mode and we go, when rhythm is playing, press insert to add the 
door function for rhythm. When finished playing this section rhythm, it will insert a door interlude. Okay. Rhythm. So we go insert. Oh, cool. Okay. So it just adds a bit of a bridge there. Cool. Okay. Makes sense. So this is for full, full on production here. Whoops. How do I end the, oh, no, I don't want to record off. Okay. So we've played around with the insert, the rhythm, um, the finger button. So you're supposed to be able to play a full chord with just playing one key. So how do we do that? Finger has function only under rhythm mode and general mode. While playing rhythm, press this key and any key in the range of C3 to F4 sharp. So we're looking at one, two, three, four to here. So this range here, we're able to use this feature. So let's try that out. Going to press the finger button. I think we need to be in rhythm mode. Let's try that. I'll hit the finger button now. Hmm. Finger. The finger one is not making any sense to me here. Okay, so the ones that are fairly intuitive are the rhythm, insert works with the rhythm, chord accompaniment, so the finger button is supposed to help you play full chords without playing all of the keys. Uh, recording is fairly simple. The OOP button is not making sense at the moment. Playback makes sense. So you can record and play with the regular play arrow. With the play arrow pause, that's for starting or stopping the demo or even drum kit. Okay. Tone change is pretty simple. We just use the plus and minus buttons. The teaching O con button is pretty neat for being able to follow along with the melody. Again, you have to figure out the melody first so you can get the proper rhythm, but that's a great teaching tool. And then we have all the tones here. You have some battery placement you can put in there as well if you can't plug this in. And that's that. Okay, so that has been a review of this rollout piano. Pretty neat concept. You can just roll the whole thing like this. Tuck that into your bag and off you go. Got the power cord here with this block. I think it's a pretty standard block. You could probably use one for a phone charger that would work. Comes with a handy manual as well. And feels pretty cool, really squishy. Okay, there you have it. So make sure you comment down below, leave your thoughts to see if you would actually purchase something like this or if you just want to win it. As a teaching tool for absolute beginners, I think this is a decently affordable way to start. Um, this is actually pretty, pretty good for an absolute beginner just getting to learn how to memorize the names of the keys and start playing some fun two finger piano tunes. So please make sure you're subscribed you've liked this video, you've left your comment, and you're following me on Instagram. That's Michael Piano Hooks on Instagram. Let's get this video to 100 likes, and I am going to be sending this off to a lucky winner. Is that gonna be you?
And as always, if you want to take your playing to the next level, become a member at pianohooks.com, learn to play fun songs by ear and figure out how to make them even more challenging on the keyboard all on your own. And that's the point of learning music, is to be able to sit down and have fun with it. And as you get bored with how you're playing, you should be able to take it to the next level and make it a little bit more challenging for yourself. See you in the next video.